It's Weekend Update with Colin Jost and Michael Che. Good evening. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Weekend Update. I'm Michael Che. I'm Colin Jost. <laughs> Well, we're now at the point where at every press conference, the president's asked, will there be a nuclear war? A journalist asked President Biden if we should be worried about nuclear war, and he said, no, because what's he going to say? Hell yeah, man. <laughs> Start digging a bunker, Jack. <laughs> it's like when a little kid asks you where Grampy's going to go when he dies. You know, obviously, you're going to say heaven. But based on some of the stuff Grampy said, you know hell is also on the table. <laughs> Some military experts have been surprised that despite having superior firepower, the Russian army has been slowed by aging equipment, poor motivation, and inept leadership. So basically, they're the Lakers. <laughs> Germ <laughs> Germany is now joining the EU to send arms to Ukraine, which is the first time Germany has ramped up military production since that little six-year gap in their history books. <laughs> French President Emmanuel Macron said that after a tense 90-minute call with Vladimir Putin, he's convinced that the worst is yet to come. Man, it's amazing how much suffering could have been avoided if Putin was just a few inches taller. <laughs> Senator Lindsey Graham, who gives this exact same look at the urinal... <laughs> created a controversy on Twitter by suggesting that Russians should end the war in Ukraine by assassinating Vladimir Putin. It is a shocking, disgusting example of Lindsey Graham being kind of right about something. Governors in several states, including New Hampshire, Ohio, and Utah, have banned the sale of Russian-made vodka. No word yet on brides. <laughs> Many of the members of Congress attending the State of the Union wore blue and yellow to show their support for Ukraine, while Kamala Harris wore all brown to do what she's done for the last year, disappear into the background. <laughs> Florida Governor Ron DeSantis seen here being told someone's pronouns. <laughs> DeSantis yelled at students behind him at an indoor event to take off their masks, saying, stop with this COVID theater. And there's nothing more on brand for conservatives than a dad screaming at boys to give up theater. Starting on Monday, New York City will no longer require bars and restaurants to pretend to look at vaccination cards. <laughs> The city, the city will be lifting its vaccine mandate for indoor dining and events. Finally, said the next variant. 